Hey, this is Norm at Quantum Innovations and I want to talk to you a little bit today about birefringence of light. Um, there is a written blog post on this as well, but I want to just uh, go into this uh, kind of in a, a glossary view like we do with the rest of these quick uh, video posts. Um, real, uh, if we go back to the previous or one of the previous videos that we did when we talked about refractive index, one of the things that everybody has to understand when you talk about putting materials on top of one another that have different refractive indexes, though that has the ability to reflect, reflect light uh, at different angles. And when that happens, you can get multiple multiple reflection or, or refractions of light that gives multiple so images. We talked about this before, this angle, the, the angle of incidence of light as it impacts something and then we, ref, we, we refract and then we reflect. Well, if you have something that is on the surface of this that has a different refractive index, of course it's going to re, uh, refract the light differently. Um, now there's these issues can be compounded when you suspend a material of a refractive index within something that has a different refractive index. And that you see commonly in hard coats. So with hard coats, you can have, say, a glass or a carbon nanotube that is suspended within that, and that has a certain refractive index. And then that's suspended within something that has a different refractive index. So these issues can be compounded but the, the, the long and short of this is, is that you're creating multiple uh, reflections or polarizations of light, which causes a, a multi-image. And that's why you see on some lenses where you get that rainbowy effect and you, you get multiple images and, and that sort of thing. I've got an image uh, that I wanted to bring into this and hopefully this, uh, this relates uh, what it is that that we wanted to relate, but you have a single beam of light going into something that, uh, that uh, is going to split that light or create two refractions of that light beam as it comes out. So you have the two coming out, you have the one going in, and this is a good example of uh, birefringence, polar, or, uh, splitting polarization of light. Um, so hopefully that is uh, something that everybody can understand as far as birefringence. There's a lot that's been written on birefringence. I'm not going to try and go into deeply into the science of this, but hopefully that gives a basic explanation. So if we have all these different indexes, the air coating has a specific index, the hard coat has a specific index, the lens has a specific index. When we have a bunch of different uh, indexes that are all coming together, we have the ability to create this birefringence effect. So, um, and again, hard coats are a big, uh, are a big issue in creating um, birefringence. So, um, hopefully that's a good uh, uh, glossary explanation of, uh, of birefringence. If you have any questions, just contact us here at Quantum and hopefully we'll be able to answer them for you.